Alrighty then, it's time for Team Battle Cassiopeia. And yes, I am in fact jungling her. Which one? Because snakes belong in the woods and shit. But in all actuality, which do, when I play normal games, I tend to tell my friends or whoever they invite me with, I'll play whatever the fuck you, I want if you guys are going to play shit like Support Nautilus. So, I'm playing Jungle Cassiopeia and uh, before this one I was playing Jungle Carthus, who honestly is a lot more viable than Cassiopeia and honestly a million times more fun. But, you know, fuck it, I'll play any AP jungler that I normally wouldn't be able to play in ranked in uh, normals. My friend is playing mid Lucian, because, you know, Riot buffed Lucian, and he's insane right now. They quote unquote changed him, but of course it ended up being just a straight out buff. I love it how Riddit was like, oh my god, Lucian got Olaf. I know, I know he needed a small nerf, but damn, this is just destroying him. You know what I thought when I saw that nerf? Huh. We'll see what happens when he actually comes. Because he, he was given compensation, alright? It, it's with a lot of balance choices that Riot needs to make. And hell, pretty much everything when it comes to balance, Riot's just trying to make compensation even with overpowered champions. Sometimes an overpowered champion does need a straight out nerf, but and some of them were given to Lucian, straight out nerfs. And sometimes a champion just needs compensation in which they shift power from one area to another area and make it, you know, have noticeable weaknesses or something. But with Lucian, that whole mobility crap is insane. Anyways, back to Cassiopeia. I haven't even given you the build. Here's just the first gank, you know, flash in, throw ooze. I, I call it ooze. I know it's like toxins or whatever, but might as well call it something funny. But I, my runes are magic pen red, armor yellow, I believe six cooldown reduction blues, three ability power scaling blues, and flat ability power quince. And my masteries were, uh, I, th I believe... 22, uh, 22, 5, and 1. Fi 22, 5, and 3. Um, I believe movement speed on the utility. Or I think I changed hers to mono regeneration. Because Karthus was the only one who really needed the movement speed. And just switched that around. But anyways, as you can see. Yay, mid laner is getting destroyed by the Lucian. It's, it doesn't matter to me. And, you know, my friend is being an ass in all chat. But he should know better. Oh, you gotta love it when you do this shit like with Cassiopeia. Scream in their faces. I play this wrong though. I kill Mordekaiser and I don't pay attention to the fact that I missed my Q on a Mumu. So I used my E on a Mumu and BAM, my E failed. Like I didn't get the cooldown on it and pretty much I couldn't finish him off. But still, I do a shit ton of damage on a tower, take a few la CS while my mid Pantheon, well, my top lane Pantheon goes off and kills mid lane. Hooray! Jungle Cassiopeia would probably be one of the fastest junglers if Romana wasn't so bad early. Yeah, I bought Tear the Goddess first, and of course the Spirit Stone, so I could sustain myself. And yes, you could shoot uh, your Q on the ground to maintain your passive, but if you want to just go like gung-ho, rapid-fire, melting the camps, you're going to fucking drain yourself. It becomes much more manageable once you get Spir a Spirit of the Spectral Wraith, but still, like at that point, almost anybody's really fast. Nonetheless, does she actually contribute anything to the game? Not really. As a jungler, like, I'd rather, if there was any AP jungler that's, you know, like her, that I would want to take, just be again Karthus. Because at least with Karthus, I had that global pressure and uh, the magic resistance debuff with his W. With Cassiopeia, it's just her ultimate and uh, her sustained damage, which her sustained damage isn't that, uh, I mean, it's uh, great, but sustained damage in general is not the best thing in the world unless, you know, it's, yeah, like a physical carry or some crap like that. Either way, my team fight uh, to fights here, it's a pretty fucking messy fight. Pantheon misses Z entirely on the entire enemy team. You know, the enemy team scatters strangely and then it gets blown up by Graves. And then Lucian goes in with his high ass mobility and clears the mob. Then Pantheon decides to dive after Lucian dies. And he fails to do that. Literally returns for, you know, for whatever reason and gets herself killed. Then Mordekaiser flashes forward and uses his ultimate to kill the Pantheon, who probably would have died regardless of him using either spell. So, messy fucking fight. But, why do I care? So, if there, like, honestly, I, I do feel Cassiopeia is, in, is due for a slight mechanics rework. Because right now it's just pure sustained damage with... It's not really doing her so well. I mean, her ultimate is like a cool. It's pretty cool. I like her ultimate, though. 
in in an honest sense it's a lot weaker than a lot of similar ultimates mostly because it has that condition attached to it that kind of makes it screw up or not you know not be as useful in all situations i mean when you get a five person stun because they all looked at you like you know surprise surprise i i phase uh, i mean stone face that's pretty fucking good but in most other situations it's uh, like if it only slows them it's less good and you might as well have had something like a nanny stun or whatever but so I do like it, and I wish you know Raya would just give her some other boons to her abilities. Maybe make her e less dependent on the toxins, because holy crap, that fucks up so much. Like even if you, even if it's unintended. Either way, here I love this. This will I mean by the ultimate. The enemy cha team gets my two teammates so low, so they decide to just chase, but they cluster up and just stare at me. I mean, the Zyra turns back at the right at the right time moment because she knew it was coming. But the Nidalee just gets the full brunt of it and gets bet her, you know, face brunted off. I mean, burnt off and then just destroyed. And the rest of the enemy team just gets killed or chased off. I love it, and that won't be the only instance of this. So, my team obviously has a lead. I, I'm kind of, you know, I got myself a, a, a respectable lead early. My teammates have, you know, a good kill lead. Oh, by the way, this is the same team we fought last time when I was Karthus, and they were equally as angry. And they were uh, shit-talking in all chat, sort of. But, wait, no, actually it wasn't these guys. It was another group. Sorry. Sorry for that team. It wasn't you. I played another normal, a batch of normal games the other day with another group, and we had a bunch of shit-talkers through the all chat. And I was just like, I was just like, are you guys doing this? You guys are like 21 and 1, and you finally get a kill, and you start shit-talking. Either way, so here once more, the enemy team just starts grouping up for a fight, and Lucian initiates, they sort of counter-initiate on just him, and you know they're a little too far to actually respond to it. Pantheon jumps in, the enemy team gets slow, and I see my opportunity, so I flash forward, scream in their faces, and kill two of them from behind, and then the rest of them just sort of crumble. I miss once again my combo, and I really can't get it off. However, we still kill Mordekaiser, and pretty much the rest of the enemy team is forced to scatter. With that, we are able to take a turret and can take control of the map just a little bit. We can't take this next turret or the inhibitor, so it's just a victory right there. So, of course, you can see I was aiming to build the Leandris Torment and Rylai Scepter build. The one with uh, where Cassiopeia just gets to slow people and burn shreds and make her E a lot less, you know, easy to fuck up. Still, though. My teammates, you know, have the reasonable builds. There's nothing ridiculous going on. Would I recommend Cassiopeia to anybody? Honestly, she's a little too difficult and a little sometimes infuriating to play. But she can be fun for some people. And at least in the AP jungler, she works out well. Plus, you get fucking amazing moments like this. You know, Lucian gets out of position. And a Mumu initiates. And they all close to the fuck up. And you scream in three people's faces. And then you just throw your shit around and they all get poisoned. Sure you die, but your damage and effectiveness lingers on. And then the rest of the enemy team just melts. Shit like that, man, is bound to give you snake boners. But So, if you like AP, if you like Cassiopeia or AP junglers, you might as well try it in the jungle. Like, in a normal game, you got not much to lose. And for whatever reason, the replay doesn't even show the victory screen or even gets off this. So, I got a little bit more time to rant. But either way, if you like this game or if you like the idea of jungle Cassiopeia, make sure to give it a like. Also, read the description for the question of the day. Hooray for Snake Lady Cassiopeia.